Hello friends, today in this video I am going to show you that how you can remove the background of a video even without the help of a green screen. If I want to remove the background of any video then I should have a green, green screen for it and if I am having a green screen then I can put anything uh, on that green screen. So, uh, but if you don't have a green screen at you, then in that case, what you can do is you can make a virtual green screen and with the help of that green screen, you can remove the background. So today we will use three softwares here to remove the background. The first software we will use is to make the virtual green screen and to make the virtual green screen, we will use paint, which is Microsoft paint. And after that, we will use the second software, which is Webinar. Webinar is a conferencing website and uh, you can use it instead of Webinar. You can also use Zoom or uh, you can use uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Webinar also. But uh, I am using here the uh, Webex uh, website. So now uh, the third software which I will use is OBS software which will help me to combine all those things together and to remove the background of the screen. Okay, so now let's start. You can download uh, Webex from here for your Windows. I have given the link in the description. You can go to the page using that, that link on the description. And after this, you will install it and you will use it. I have already installed it, installed it on my machine so I will open it and after that I will now open paint so I will write here paint and from here I will create the green screen which is my virtual green screen so for that I will click here on the green button and I will select this tool and I will use it to make the green screen. Now my green screen has been created here and I will just save it anywhere. I have saved it on my desktop with the name virtual screen. Now I will start my meeting here, but it is not the actual meeting. I will just start the meeting and nothing else. I just want the camera from this uh, webinar website. Uh, the camera I will use using this website. So here is the screen. And uh, from here, I will add the virtual screen which I just created here. So from here, I have uh, used it and my background is now green so now I will open OBS and for OBS also I have given you the link in my description box you can download OBS from there from here I will click on plus and here I can give it any name Suppose I have given it as uh, the name of demo and here I will select this demo now and from here I will click on plus on the second tray and from here I will click on window capture. Now I can capture any window which I have opened. So now I will give it any name for example I, I, will, uh, I will use uh, Webex here on this window then I will give it the name as Webex and OK and from here uh, you can see that this screen was opened and it has been opened by the OBS also. If you are using multiple screen if you have opened multiple windows then from uh, here you can uh, select the Webex window and after that you will click on OK and here you can see that it is visible now. So now as you can see that uh, I am having uh, that white, white background besides me also. I don't want it. So if I don't want it, in that case what I will do is I will 
go here and uh, I will click on alt and with the help of mouse I will drag it and whatever I want I will select only that much okay so hold on alt and after that take that portion which you want so I want only this much portion so I will select this one and that's okay now suppose I want a PDF file in my background so first of all I will open the PDF file and after that I will click on plus here and again window capture and I'll give it any name for example PDF and after that you can see that PDF is visible you can also uh, select that the window of PDF from scroll down there and after that you will get it but now as you can see that it is also having some extra portion so again uh, using alt and uh, drag with the help of the mouse button and uh, you can capture as much you want but now as you can see that uh, I'm not visible here on the screen is visible why it is because of the reason that PDF is at first you can see here the PDF is at first and Webex is in the second whatever is written at uh, whatever is in this list whatever is at first that will be uh, seen first so now what I will do is I want myself to be above the PDF so I will uh, I will drag Webex on PDF or I can I can uh, drag PDF uh, below Webex like this with the help of mouse and now you can see that uh, my face is visible and I can take this screen anywhere or I can resize it also if I want to resize it I can resize it if I want to drag it to any place I can put it at any place but now as you can see that still uh, this background contains that green color I will I don't want that green color uh, instead of that green color I want uh, my PDF in, in the background so what I will do is I will remove it so I will right click on Webex here and after this I will click on filters and now you can see here I will click on plus and I will select chroma key and I can give it any name I'll keep it as chroma key only and okay and from here because my background was green and I want to remove that so I will select green color if I was having blue magenta or any customized color then I, I would have chosen that one but my color is green so I will select that green color here and after that I will click on close and now you can see that 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 background has been removed this green color which you are uh, which you can see is not the green color which was behind me it is it is a green color of this PDF file and uh, my background has been removed now so now if I scroll down the PDF for example if I scroll down the PDF like here let me scroll down it and when I'll scroll down it if you see here background will change and only my face is visible nothing else behind me is visible only PDF file is visible so whatever I will put here I will I can use that thing and my face will, will be visible now I can keep on teaching if I want to teach I can keep on teaching from here you can start recording when you will click here it will start recording so I have uh, started the recording and now it has started recording now so whatever I will open the PDF and whatever I will do here it will keep on getting recorded with my face in front okay if I want to teach anyone uh, using it and I want to record it with my face then my face is being recorded behind using OBS and I will keep on teaching from here similarly if if instead of PDF you want to use PDF file if you or if you want to use games or if you want to use uh, uh, the videos that can also be done in the similar way so I will keep on scrolling down I will keep on teaching everything will be recorded and uh, after this I will stop recording and when I will stop recording the video will be by default saved in the videos of your window so uh, you can 
I'll see your video there in, in the videos in uh, right C suppose that you want to insert any media so you will click on plus and then media source and you can give it any name for example if you want to insert any video here in the back you can browse that video you will browse here like this and from here you can select any video what uh, whichever video you want in the back so I have selected this one and I am clicking on loop also means that if the video stops then it will again start by itself so I am clicking on loop and ok and you can see here that the video is now visible and uh, again my face is not visible because here media source is at number one so I want Webex at number one so I will scroll it up and uh, you can see my face is visible now in front and behind me whatever I am having here you can see the video is there so that video is present behind me so in this way you can again start recording from here and uh, after this you, you will keep on recording whatever you want to speak you, you can speak it will keep on recording and after that you stop recording and everything will be recorded in the similar way so if you are having any game if you want to play a game then you have the option for games also you can see here here the game capture is also there so if you want to capture games uh, you click here you start your game the game will be visible you keep on playing it and OBS will keep on recording it behind you with, the, with your face at front so this is how we can use OBS to remove this off uh, remove any background even if you are not having a green screen so I hope you like my video have a nice day goodbye